What is up and how is it going guys and gals? You're listening to the voice of Boom Nation and today I am happy to be bringing you all a Black Ops 2 class setup guide. In today's video we're going to be discussing what I believe to be the best assault rifle class setup in the entire assault rifle class for Black Ops 2. As you can see on screen we're going to be talking about the Type 25. Throughout this video, you'll be seeing a collection of clips of me using this weapon to the best of its ability, whether I be in a close range or long range engagement. For today's class setup, we're going to be using three separate attachments on the Type 25. These will be the silencer, the quick draw handle, as well as the fast mag attachment. Now, because we are using three separate attachments, we will also need to be utilizing the primary gunfighter wild card. For our perks, we're using the simplest perks in the game, the ones you have right off the bat and don't even have to spin an unlock token on. On. Those are lightweight, toughness, and dexterity. These will help modify the class to suit closer range maps and help you maneuver much more quickly. Now, according to the online Call of Duty wiki, the Type 25 actually has a 1.5% movement speed increase relative to all of the other assault rifles in Black Ops 2, which is really cool. And it just goes to show that this weapon is really great for rushing relative to the other assault rifles. So if you do like to have an aggressive play style, but you're also going to be engaging in some more long range, medium range gunfights, if you will, you're definitely going to want to use this class setup to your advantage as much as possible. For the equipment, we're going to be utilizing the Simtex and the Smoke Grenade. Now, if you do like playing TDM and you're not playing an objective based game mode, you can go ahead and swap out that smoke grenade for something like a concussion or a flashbang if you wish or if you are playing on a more close encounters close range map I would recommend switching out the Simtex for a C4 as well to aid you in those close quarters situations. Now the last thing on this class setup that you might be okay changing and swapping around for different things is the second tier perk slot. I personally rely on toughness quite a bit and I cannot do well in Black Ops 2 without it but I know there are some of you out there that don't really like toughness you think it's useless and uh, I've noticed that when I'm using this class setup I go on such tears and such long kill streaks I end up running out of ammo and I have to pick up other weapons quite a bit so to help with that if you feel comfortable without toughness or you can get used to it I would recommend slapping on scavenger instead just so you can keep this gun and and kind of play with the same play style throughout your entire life that you can stay alive your entire score streak without having to pick up some wacky LMG or some machine gun that you aren't comfortable with using now in terms of the maps in Black Ops 2 that are well suited to this class setup, the good thing is there's a number of them. I mean, there's quite a few. Um, you just want to pick a map when you are going to use this class setup that is medium sized to potentially large and you're going to want to be engaging in medium range to short range gunfights as much as possible. Just to list a few off here, we got Yemen, Encore, Hydro, Meltdown, and Overflow. Those are all spectacular maps to use this class setup on, but there are quite a few others as well like uh, Slime Slums can even work, as you're seeing the gameplay here in the background, or Studio is a good one as well. Uh, basically, a lot of the maps that are similarly good to use the Peacekeeper on, you'll definitely excel and succeed with this class setup as well. Now the key to dominating your opposition, no matter the game mode in Black Ops 2 with this class setup, is being able to control the recoil of the Type 25. When I first started using it, I was a little intimidated, and it was kind of hard to control, especially when you don't have a silencer, so you're not reducing that muzzle flash and you know bullets are flying and you don't know where they're quite going it can be difficult at times I encourage you guys to persevere through it if you don't end up doing too well your first couple games with this class setup because it does take time to get used to the recoil patterns luckily I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like uh, you can see here on screen the recoil pattern is pretty much upwards and sometimes it'll kick to the right a little bit so just think upwards and diagonally and when you're spraying fully auto at a medium or long-range engagement what you want to do is just pull down on your joystick or your analog stick in the opposite direction that the recoil is going so it's not too hard you'll just get a feel for it um, you know for an example you probably most of the time when you're going fully auto you're gonna want to pull down or slightly down into the left with your joystick if you're playing on a console and then if you're playing on a PC just pull your mouse um, you know towards you to the left a little bit as well it's it's really incredible and you can turn this thing into a complete laser beam when you control that recoil and really learn to master it. I've played a lot of league play matches and exclusively used this class setup and I just shred people apart even when I'm going up against some of the best of the best in Call of Duty. Just so you can implant it in your memory, here it is one more time for you, the Type 25 with the silencer, quick draw handle and fast mag attachments. Also you're going to be using the lightweight, 
the toughness and dexterity perks, as well as the Simtex and the smoke grenade for your equipment. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like rating below. I've never really done a class setup video before myself, so if you'd like to see me do these in the future, please go ahead and leave a like. I think it'd be really awesome if we could break 100 likes on this video. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.